Welcome to Live Interactive English. I'm Kim, and this article today is Spirit Week, raising spirits and money for those in need. This is part two. So Spirit Week, I remember Spirit Week、uh, when I was in middle school, junior high, and also senior high school. Spirit Week is one of the most fun times that you can have、uh, in high school or in middle school. Uh, my favorite part was when we had to wear pajamas. There was pajama day, so you show up and you're still wearing what you slept in. We also had backwards day, where you turn around your clothes <coughs> and all your clothes are on backwards. And we also had one where you could find a friend and you two dress exactly alike. So that was twin day. I don't know why so many of them involved clothes, but it was really fun. And a great way to raise money, and a great way to raise the spirits of the students, and kind of make everyone feel like we're all in this together, and we're a school, and we can do it. Now, the best part of Spirit Week, which is at the end, was a big dance called Homecoming, and this is when all the students get together for their first dance of the year, and you can just party and have fun and dance until you drop. And it's a great way for the new kids, the freshmen or first-year students, to get to know the school, to get to know their classmates, and to really feel connected to the school community. So, in part two, we're going to check out more things about Spirit Week, and、uh, let's see what we think. Let's go. During Spirit Week, schools encourage healthy competition in all of their fundraising activities. One popular activity is the Penny War. The goal of this activity is to see which grade can collect the most one-cent coins by the end of the week. Students can subtract points from another grade's total by adding five, ten, or twenty-five cent coins to that grade's collection. All right, let's get into our reading. It says, during Spirit Week, schools encourage healthy competition in all of their fundraising activities. Sometimes fundraising can be a big part of Spirit Week. You try to raise some money for a charity, and this is done through healthy competition. So when people are in a healthy competition with each other, this doesn't mean just running or doing some kind of sports and making it actually healthy. That just means that you have a good attitude about your competition. So you're not getting in there trying to win. You're going to win, and that's it. No, you're doing it for fun. You're doing it to raise some money. You're doing it for a good cause. So the competition isn't that intense. It's just all for fun. And they encourage this kind of healthy competition. To encourage is to give somebody praise. Or give them some happy, positive thinking to get them to do something or continue doing something. If you encourage someone, you like what they're doing. You want them to continue doing it. So you maybe say something like, "Good job! You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Keep going." Or in Taiwan, as we say, "Jiao." So, for example, Dr. Sanders encouraged his patient to exercise more. A lot of doctors will encourage you to get outside and exercise. They say maybe you should take a walk, or run, or do something like lifting small weights, and this will help you to be healthier. Well, as we continue on, one popular activity is the Penny War. This is one of the healthy competitions we're talking about. The goal of this activity is to see which grade can collect the most one-cent coins by the end of the week. Okay, so what the kids have to do is they have to collect these one-cent coins. In America, we have one cent, five cents, twenty-five cents, and dollars. So you want to collect these one-cent coins. They're really small. They're kind of a brownish gold red color, and they're called Pennies. This is the noun we use to refer to this one-cent coin, a penny. For example, Monica picked up a penny that was lying on the street. And as we say, find a penny, pick it up, and all the day you'll have good luck. Is it true? Maybe you can try next time. So we continue. Students can subtract points from another grade's total by adding five, ten, or twenty-five cent coins to that grade's. Collection. Ah, so this is the other coins that I was just talking about. 
we have five cents, which is called a nickel, 10 cents, which is called a dime, and 25 cents, which is called a quarter. And these are all the coins that we have in the American money system. So the students can add five, 10, or 25 cents to the other grade to subtract from their total. Ah, so subtract is to take away from something. If you subtract in math, it's when you're taking away certain numbers. And we use the hyphen to show that you're subtracting. So two minus two, subtract, is zero. And as in our example, if you subtract three from five, you get two. So if you have five, you subtract three, you're going to get two as your total. So this is just, this is an example of one of these healthy competitions that students can do. Other things might include running races or playing games like ones you might find at the fair. I know when I was in high school, we played a game where you had to throw a ball into a basket. And if you got enough balls in the basket, you could take away points from the other grades. So this means that there's competition between the grades in the school. So you're talking about, in America, we have ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and the final year is 12th grade. So all these four years, we have four years of high school, they're all competing against each other to try to get the most coins or to get the most points. And these are all part of the Spirit Week activities that they can do. All right, well, thank you for joining me, and we'll see after the break, what else can we get up to during Spirit Week? Hmm. <music> 大家好,我是Hanny Spirit Week 除了可以展现学校精神 让他们的总分被扣掉。好，我们来看单词encourage。encourage是动词，表示鼓励。那么penny，它是指一分钱，就相当于cent。Ken老师帮我们补充其他硬币的说法，像五分钱硬币叫做nickel，那么十分钱也
participate and be a part of certain events. So while the students are having fun, the teachers also get to have a little fun too. And they can take part in an event like the pie throw. This fun event is exactly what it sounds like. Lucky students get to throw pies at their teachers or even their principal. That's right, you can throw a pie into the face of your teacher, but most of the time it was the principal. Okay? Tickets are sold for each of these activities and the money goes to a good cause. Now you might think, that's crazy. You can actually take a pie and throw it at your teacher's face. Yes, you can. <laughs> God bless America, that's what we do. Actually, we were able to throw a pie at the face of our principal. A principal is the head of the school. He's the top person, he or she, is the top person in the school. They are the one that is the leader of all the teachers. The principal and the vice principal, who is the second leader of the school, they make up the administration. And this is the name for the people that run the school. So for example, Mr. Skinner became the new principal of the school. So principals change every few years. I think we had the same principal the whole time that I was in school. So you can imagine he got a lot of pies thrown at his face during spirit week, but he was a good sport about it, so it's okay. As we continue, thousands of dollars are raised by schools across the country for organizations like Ronald McDonald House City of Hope, and more. Often, students also try to help their local communities by giving to animal shelters, food banks, and families in need. They feel proud of their schools for making a difference, and being proud of your school is what Spirit Week is all about. Yeah, this is a lot going on during Spirit Week, and the whole purpose of it is not just pride in your school, but can also be to raise money, as we talked about before with the Penny Wars. So people like to raise money for organizations like Ronald McDonald House. This is a very famous organization in the U.S. that was started by McDonald's. Yes, the burger place. Ronald McDonald is their mascot. He's the clown with the red hair and the big nose. And this is an organization that helps parents to stay with their children when their children have to be in the hospital. It's a very popular organization to give to, and they do a lot of good. But students also try to help their local communities and not just national organizations. They may give to places like animal shelters. This is a place where people uh, take animals that have no home. You can adopt animals from here. You can go there and volunteer to take care of them. And they always appreciate money as they have to take care of a lot of homeless animals. You can also give money to food banks, which is another organization in your local community that's often in need. Food banks are places where people can go to get food if they have a lack of it. So if you don't have too much money and you really need to buy some food for your family, you can go to food banks and people often donate actual food or like during Spirit Week, they can just donate money and this helps families in need. So Spirit Week is not just about you're being proud of your school and working together as a team and being uh, really into where you come from. It's also about helping your local community, helping your fellow man, and doing as much good as you can in your, in your area where you are. And that's really what it's about. Now we have this word local here. Local is in your immediate area. So not really far away, not in another country, not in another state, not in another province, but local. Your area where you're from, the small town where you grew up, the places that are around you. This is local. You can have local restaurants, might be the auntie down the street who cooks your favorite noodle. You can have a local library, which is the library right next to where you go to school. You can have local anything as long as it's in the location where you are. For example, a local man was featured in a national newspaper. So he must have done something interesting to be featured in a national newspaper if he's just a local man. Maybe he invented something or maybe he did something crazy. We're not sure. 
But either way, a man from your area was shown or featured in a national newspaper that a lot of people read. He must have done something cool. So here we have our what do you think question. So what do you think? Does your school have anything similar to a spirit week? If not, how would a spirit week affect your school life? Well, I can answer this question. My school has a spirit week because I grew up in America and spirit week is very, very common there, starting in middle school and going all the way through high school. And it's really fun, as I said before, it's a great way to feel connected to your fellow students and to really be proud of your local community. But if it does, if your school has something similar, you could say my school has maybe a spirit day maybe a time when everyone gets together and celebrates being on the same team, which is similar to Spirit Week in several ways. So you could add for one thing and give an example, or for another and give another example. And you can also say, if my school had a Spirit Week, my school life would be different in a few ways. And then you can think of some ways that it would be different and could start out. One way it would be different is, we would have a whole lot of fun. <laughs> That's what Spirit Week is all about. Thank you for joining me and rah, rah, rah for your team, for your community, for your school, and enjoy your Spirit Week. Bye-bye. Kim老师说他们以前都是校长被砸的最多 he was a good sport about it 来描述他以前的校长 那么good sport就是指有风度 像是愿赌服输啊或者有运动家精神的人好再来课文接着写到说有些活动每一项都有售票那这些活动他们都是有售票的啊那收入会用在慈善事业学生也会透过捐款捐给这些动物收容所啊食物银行还有有需要的家庭来试着帮助当地社区我们来看单字local Ronald McDonald 就是麦当劳叔叔 大家都知道吧那是麦当劳的招牌吉祥物 Kim老师这时候用到mascot M-A-S-C-O-T Mascot 就是指吉祥物 这个段落三个重点 我们进入文法时间好这边有一个重点是 Throughout 当介系词表示从头到尾自始至终或是遍布的意思后面是接名词 像Throughout the day 就是整天 Throughout the world 表示遍布全世界等等 举例来说 There are hundreds of temples throughout the island 有数百座的寺庙呢遍布在那座岛屿上那下一个重点是 get to 加原形动词 在这边它是表达有机会得以怎么样怎么样 例如, Brad didn't get to say goodbye to his grandpa Brad 没机会跟爷爷说再见 好下一个重点是 take part in 表示参与从事 后面可以接名词或动名词 那它就跟 participate in 或是 join in 意思一样 例如 more than 10,000 people took part in the parade 超过1万个人参加那场游行 好以上是今天的讲解同学们别走开马上回来哦During Spirit Week, schools encourage healthy competition in all of their fundraising activities. One popular activity is the Penny War. The goal of this activity is to see which grade can collect the most one-cent coins by the end of the week. Students can subtract points from another grade's total by adding 5, 10, or 25-cent coins to that grade's collection. Throughout the week, teachers also get to take part in certain events, such as the pie throw. This fun event is exactly what it sounds like. Lucky students get to throw pies at their teachers or even their principal. Tickets are sold for each of these activities and the money goes to a good cause. Thousands of dollars are raised by schools across the country for organizations like Ronald McDonald House, City of Hope, and more. Often, students also try to help their local communities by giving to animal shelters, food banks, and families in need. They feel proud of their schools for making a difference, and being proud of your school is what Spirit Week is all about.
Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Jen. Today we're going to play Word Drop, where we try to fit three vocabulary words into a conversation as smoothly as we can. All right. Okay. Do you want to start? Sure. Okay. Oh. Hmm. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, I was just talking to a friend yesterday about different subjects that we used to like um, when we were younger. And um, and I was thinking, I don't think I liked a lot in when I was younger. I don't, I did, I don't remember liking math. I don't really, really like science. Um, and, and I think math, for some reason, I just, it's, it's the additions and I, I hate doing arithmetic to subtract a lot of numbers. I, I don't know, I just don't like doing, it, adding and subtracting. Okay, that's, yeah, I mean, uh, when I was back in, when I was in high school and th throughout school, actually, I, I never enjoyed math. Uh, I found out I was, I was, yeah, I was decent at it until I got to, to later in high school when I just wasn't good. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, one thing about, we used to go to this math tutor in the evenings, and one thing I really enjoyed about when we finished at that place is that me and my classmates would go to the local ice cream shop Ooh. and get some ice cream. Ooh. That probably made it a lot more fun, I guess, or at least... It made me, you, more excited about going. Um, speaking of school, um, were you, actually I probably shouldn't ask a question. Um, <laughs> I was just thinking about school. Um, did you, no, I, I, I just wanna ask you all these questions. Um, I wonder, I wonder what kind of student you were. Um, I know I was, I was a good student. I think I was a pretty good goody two shoe and I never got in trouble and never had to go see the principal at all. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I was actually, uh, I was a pretty good student and uh, yeah, when I was younger uh, in my grandmother always used to ask to see my school tests and uh, she was really kind to me and uh, what she would do is when I was in you know early elementary school she would look at my test and if I got a hundred or whatever score I got she would give me a penny for every mark oh. on the test so I could get a dollar sometimes. Oh wow yeah. that's so sweet a penny that's um I wish I wish my I wish I had a grandmother who gave me a penny for every good score that I did. Um, I think that would be a great um, way to encourage me to do better at school. Yeah, that was how, I mean, I really, it was really uh, it's a good way to, um, to encourage me as well. and. Uh, yeah. You know, I really, uh, I miss my grandma now. Uh, she's actually, yeah, she's no longer here, so. Oh. But she's in, you know, I know she's in a good place. And uh, I miss the times when we used to uh, have our family gatherings and it was nice to uh, bring everyone together at the holiday times at, at our house and celebrate with family. Oh, I love get togethers. See you next time!